And just like that, the next episode has begun. Welcome back to Ace Attorney Dual Destinies. I am your host, Mega Shadow Fist. I stick at video games, I stick at commentary. And when we last left off, we were about to cross examine the defendant, the Frohrefuka. You know? You might say, what is this? Frohrefuka. I don't know what it is. Just, let's just continue. Now, let us hear from the arch villain, the fiendish murder himself, famed astronaut Solomon Starbuck. Now it's gonna be it's gonna be hard getting. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna mix up the judge the um, the wise sage voice and the Ingram voice like too much, aren't I? Witness your name and occupation, patient, please. Solomon Starbuck, astronaut. How did this happen, Mr. Starbuck? You aren't looking very well. Will you be able to give testimony? Well, unfortunately, no is not an option. You are being accused of the Space Center bombing and the murder of Clay Terran. Please testify to these allegations. <sighs> um, mind if I take this suit off? It's getting really heavy. Silence. It's not the weight of the suit that you feel, but of your sins. Prepare to carry that weight for the rest of your life. Banish me to the moon. I don't care anymore. Wow! That was super negative. Is he going to be alright up there? He'll be fine. I think. As long as he doesn't totally give up and say he did it, that is. Like Larry Butts. He's kind of like witness testimony. He is reminding me of Larry Butts. Like, I feel like, like Larry Butts' character model is kind of used as like a um, base for this. I think. I don't. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's just me. I don't know. I didn't kill him. Okay. All I did was support Clay over my shoulder and get us off the rocket. Like always, I took the elevator down to the middle level and headed for the corridor. Clay had passed out by the time we got the order to evacuate. I didn't kill Clay. I was trying to save him. Hmm. So you assert you didn't set off the bombs or murder the victim. <laughs> but I bet you think I'm lying, right? I reserve all judgment until after I've heard your full testimony. That never... No, judge. Judge. Need I point you to every single case... Before this, basically, you assumed they were guilty from the very beginning. <laughs> no. I mean, I guess he's, I guess, like, he's just saying, like, reserve all judgment in this case in particular. <sighs> I'm sure you don't believe me. I bet you don't even believe I'm an astronaut. What? I don't think the judge doubts that, right? <laughs> Who'd wear a suit like that except an astronaut? Maybe a cosplayer? I'm curious, actually. I want to see if there's any, like, uh, cosplays of this character. Hmm. I will say, though, when I saw you in that movie, you appear quite courageous. Though I suppose reality never quite lives up to fantasy. Is that even the same person, I'm wondering? I wonder? Because, like, they don't have the same face. I wonder if that was, like, an actor playing as him or something. Like, no, did they say specifically that it was him that was in the movie? Because he looks like a complete... Doesn't, it doesn't look like this... It does not look like the same guy to me. Sure that maybe it was like a super old movie. <sighs> I guess I'm just a big disappointment. <laughs> I really don't care what happens anymore. <laughs> oh no, he's completely given up. <sighs> Oh, this sighing is making me lightheaded. Hm. What a depressing fellow. If you did join me in the clink, I imagine that annoying sighing of yours will rub off on the other inmates. Like how it rubbed off on Prosecutor Blackwell a second ago? Huh? That was Blackwell sighing? <laughs> what? 
Mr. Knight. I guess only she could tell because she could hear Discord. I don't know. Mr. Starbuck's testimony contains a glaring contradiction. The question is, what does it mean? Even if Mr. Starbuck is my client, I can't go. I can't be gun shy now. It's time to find out the truth. The truth. Cross examination. I didn't kill him. Living in the sunlight. Save all of us, let one override the slack day better, yes please. I don't know the words, but that da, da, is how I love it. Da 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 Anyway. All I did was support Clay over my shoulder and get his belt off the rocket. So what you're saying is that the victim was still alive at that time. Of course, he was alive and well. Silence. If so, if so, then you admit you took a man who is alive and well, and silence him permanently with this. What? No. Uh, black hole confirmed. Dead ahead. Uh, it's no good, Captain. I'm getting sucked in. Objection. Objection. Mr. Starbuck, you're not in space. And what the heck is he doing so close to a black hole anyway? <laughs> Please give her testimony. Please give her testimony seriously. It was just nerves, but maybe I shouldn't have said that he was alive and well. It was more like he was slumped over. Those are complete opposite ends of the spectrum. And what was he doing so close to a black hole in the first place? What? I, I, besides getting splutch sucked into a black hole, I don't think it quite works like that. Like, oh, there's a black hole, we're getting sucked in, oh, it, it doesn't work like that. The only way to escape a black hole is to be to travel faster than the speed of light, and at present, we don't have the- It is believed that no thing that takes up mass is able to travel faster than the speed of light, so at present, under our basic science, under our current knowledge of science, there's no way to escape when- To the best of our knowledge. I mean, maybe it might be possible to travel faster than the speed of light, but I don't know. I'm not a scientist. I just took one entry-level astronomy course. Like, uh, like always, I took the elevator down to the middle level and headed for the corridor. Is that the elevator inside the launch pad area? That's right. We always use it use it to get it get to and from the cockpit. That makes sense. So we were just use so he was just using the ro route he always used. In spite in spite of the fact in spite of the fact that there had just been an explosion. Huh? I think Mr. Starbuck is hiding something. Something pretty big. Clay had passed out by the time we got to the order to order to evacuate. Evacuate. <laughs> passed out? Why was he passed out? Probably because of the explosion. The noise and vibration were incredible. It's little wonder a person would pass out, right? I guess. Not that I'd know. Hold on, what is- what are you saying? I mean, I guess... Ah! I've been hit by space debris! The main engine's on fire! It's gonna blow! Ah! Yes, I see. I guess it does make sense that someone would pass out. Especially the person in question is Mr. Starbuck. Anyway... I didn't kill Clay. I was trying to save him. Don't worry. I understand. I'll make sure everything turns out alright. But everyone's glaring at me like I did it. Apollo! You have to reassure him better than that! And how am I supposed to do that? Try to imagine how he's feeling and use that to figure out how to boost his confidence. Mr. Starbuck, think back to what Clay used to always say. I'm Clay Terran and I'm fine, except right now because I'm dead. It's times like these when he would repeat, I'm fine to himself. Chords are still. I'm fine. Yeah, I guess he did say that a lot. <sighs> But even if I shout it, Clay will still be dead. <sighs> What's the use? <sighs> it's 
Somebody please reassure me now. Apollo! There's something strange about Mr. Starbuck's testimony! Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. There's a glaring contradiction. I just wonder why it's there and what it means for our case. Well, it doesn't look like he's lying, at least. Guess I'll have to show some evidence. All I need is to pour clay over my shoulder and get the, get us out of the rocket? Like always, let the elevator down to the middle level and head it for the corridor. This is the one that Apollo's like, SUSPICIOUS! Video showing the defendant victim escaping from the corridor of the boarding lounge. Biometric door lock operated by fingerprint recognition on the defendant, the victim and space center director had access. Only the prison director Cosmos, Starbuck, and Terran are authorized. An independent security company manages their usage records. Backup power allows it to function even when the power goes out. That's interesting. Attempts to use print recognition are also recorded via security camera. Okay, need to keep that in mind. The bonds went off despite tight security. Police officers and riot police who have been standing by gave the evacuation instructions. Police officers and riot police gave evacuation, instru evacuation instructions immediately. There was a power outage and the affected areas remained dark. The security system switched over to emergency power and continued to work. Evacuees moved to the basement shelter. The weird that he always I'm gonna need to press that one again, I think. Explosion sparked a fire on the second floor of the main building in the main in the middle level of the launch pad near the elevator. I take the elevator down the, to the middle level and head it for the corridor. The explosion sparked a fire on the second floor of the main building in the middle level of the launch pad near the elevator. Okay, well, I think that's the thing here, right? Yeah, like, why'd you, why'd you take the elevator down to the middle level of the corridor when there is a gosh darn explosion? Objection! Mr. Starbuck, I need your testimony to be as accurate as possible. Was I not being accurate? No, because it's impossible for you to have taken the elevator down to the middle level. What makes you say that, Mr. Justice? Please recall when the bomb went off in the launch pad 1. Also recall that after the explosion, the middle level ele elevator was engulfed in flames. Oh, you're right. Which means... Exactly. The launch pad's elevator would have been unusable, in other words. Mr. Starbuck, your statement is decidedly inconsist inconsistent with the facts. Bow. Yeah, we haven't heard this in a while. Probably my second favorite addiction theme right behind... Uh, but right behind... Uh, um, Athena's theme? Why is he... Uh, what's with the helmet? Ah! Mission Command! Mission Command! Do you read me? Come in, please. Objection. This is Mission Command. Ground Control to Major Tom. I urge you to pay attention. Stop this nonsense and answer my question, Mr. Starbuck! Uh, my helmet! Uh, my oxygen tank! Oxygen concentration and body temperature declining. Requesting medical assistance! Uh, it's hard to scream. It's hard to scream as this character because I'm paired with it if I scream. I'm gonna end up going too far into the white sage voice. Mr. Starbuck, we are not in space right now. Please stop pretending you have lost consciousness and stand back up. And if he was in space and his thing opened, he wouldn't have lost consciousness. I mean, he wouldn't have just lost consciousness, consciousness anyway. He would have just because face. Yeah, you can, I can. There are plenty of videos that explain how it works. You don't just. Oh no, no oxygen! I just passed out. It it, it doesn't work like that. I mean, like I'm pretty sure you do pass out, but it's not like. There's videos that explain it a whole lot better than I can. I apologize, Your Honor. I forgot I was still on Earth. I feel like we all just got a real glimpse of Solomon Starbuck the astronaut. Yeah, he seemed more like an astronaut now than when he was doing all that sighing. Mr. Starbuck, could you please explain the inconsistency in your testimony? About how you used the middle, le el middle level el 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 middle level elevator. Too many L sounds. I uh, was nervous and I said the wrong thing. I'm sorry. I actually, uh, took a different route, I think. You think? A different route? I hope you're able to live a straight story this time. 
I'll get to get it right this time, maybe. No, I mean probably. Probably. It's understandable to be nervous, but let me remind you let me remind you accuracy is paramount to in court. Witness testimony. My escape route. Let's see. Uh, my escape route. What I said before was a mistake. I, uh, I remember now. I took a different route. Maybe. Probably. With the capsule and clay in my arms, I made my way down from the upper level. Upper level. So you're saying you escaped without using the elevator? That's right. There's a ladder that spans the upper middle levels. I use a ladder to get to the middle level. Luckily, the fire hadn't reached the ladder, so we could make our escape that way. And the capsule you mentioned. I suppose you mean the thing right next to Mr. Terran, I... Mr. Terran here? Was the capsule that important that you risked your life to take it with you? It almost goes without saying, but yeah. That capsule contains asteroid samples. Therefore, it's invaluable as research material. Interesting, because normally in real life, you don't actually send people to asteroids to gather samples. You send, like, probes. And then, like, like we have, like, you send, like, probe things, and then they gather these things, and they send, and they have, like, this little um, container. It's designed to, um, you know, like, they just drop it into the air. It's designed to withstand... Um, protect the capsule from the friction that causes when you enter the Earth's atmosphere, and anyway. With his spacesuit on, Clay weighed a ton, but securing the capsule is also important. I need you to answer the best of your ability. Like, I can't, like, I'm, I'm not, like, a super space expert here, but I can't think of any manned missions in real life where people actually went to asteroids and actually collected, you know, stuff themselves. Mr. Starbuck, please remember that your verdict is riding on your testimony. In fact, actually, if I recall correctly from my astronomy professor, like, the farthest out that humanity has gone since, like, 1972, whenever the last Apollo mission was, was the, um, International Space Station, which is just barely outside of the Earth. <laughs> Maybe I am guilty after all. I wonder if you can see the stars in prison, but it's more comfortable than a spaceship. Cross-examination, if you please. G G G Y X A. I wonder what uh, that stands for. My escape route. There's only three. There's only three. Save over slot uh, one. Yes, please. You better save over slot one because if you don't, well, you'll end up dead. Let's see, uh, my escape route. What I said before was a mistake. How could you mistake such a basic fact? Hey, everybody makes mistakes. But try thinking about the vastness of space instead. From Earth, it takes four light years to travel to our nearest neighboring star. That is correct. So you see, compared to the vast expanse of space, human error is insignificant. I wish you consider it just a little more significant than zero. I mean, well... Enough jabbering. Get on with your testimony. There's a picture of when, um... When, um, Voyager 1 just left our solar system, it took a picture of the, um, Earth, or, like, the solar system, and there's, like, you saw like, a very small picture, like, a very small dot, and that was the Earth, and it was, like, on this is where, like, every person, every, all the people you loved, all the people you know, everything here exists on this small little speck of dust within an infinitely... Unfathom, unfathom, unfathomable, uh, I can't say that word, uh, uh, an immensely large place. There we go, let's use our, let's use our stupid people words, because that's all they can use, because I'm stupid. Anyway, Acropod, see you guys in the next episode.